many, many people in our country have heard this weekend that Christmas has been cancelled. Well, we know that that isn't the truth, because in fact, Christmas will still happen, we will still celebrate Christmas, but in a more reduced and spiritual way. For most people, the idea of Christmas is just one big family get together, one big party, one big binge. Well, of course, we know that isn't the essence of this season that we're about to enter. It's about celebrating our salvation in Jesus Christ, the incarnation, the word God becoming flesh for our sake. And every time we come into the church, we're reminded of this because we have the word made flesh, Jesus present in the tabernacle, living amongst us. And every time we come to Mass, we experience this reality and we celebrate this truth too, because every time we come to Holy Mass, it's in a sense, Christmas. And so we will be able to celebrate Christmas in the Mass, because the Mass is Christ's Mass, Christmas. Many people, of course, are going to be doing this on their own. Many people have plans. I have plans to be with family and friends this Christmas, but alas, those plans have had to be changed now. So we're going to celebrate Christmas in a different way. But the point is, we are going to celebrate Christmas and we're going to do it perhaps for the first time in our lives, focusing perhaps a little bit more exclusively on that infant Christ, the Christ child. So I would suggest that there are two thoughts, two virtues, two attitudes that we want to live at this time. And the first is optimism. Optimism born of the truth and the fact and the belief that we're children of God. I'm a son of God. There's nothing greater than that. There's nothing that can give me more joy and my, more optimism in my life. So let's think always that we're children of God and this will give us joy and the optimism we have as we go into this celebration of Christmas. The second thought is that we should be full of trust. None of us knows what the future has in store for us. So we have to go forward and celebrate Christmas and the new year full of trust, full of confidence in our loving Father God. Now, I've become aware that there are a number of members of the parish family who have become sick with the COVID virus or who have had to isolate because they've been in contact with people who have also been uh, infected with the virus. And we think very specially about those at this time especially those who cannot be with us to celebrate at Christmas. If you book to come to Mass over Christmas, then it's going to be great to see many of you at Mass. But remember, you have to have reserved a place at Mass and you must come to Mass as a household to comply with the government guidelines so that we all keep safe and we're doing the right thing at this time. Above all, I want to take the opportunity to wish all of you, whether you're individuals or families, alone or with others, a very happy and blessed celebration of Christmas, that the infant Jesus will bless you all abundantly and give you peace and above all give you that optimism and that trust that we so much need at this time. And I ask you to pray for me that I'll be able to lead the parish in the celebration of the incarnation once again and that as we come into the new year we may go forward with ever greater optimism and trust in God our Father. So God bless you all.